What's the worst thing you've ever said to a girl in the game before? I'm the, I don't know if I can say that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'll whisper something, but then I will wait, I won't actually. Open. My name is Katie Fiso, class of 2024, and I'm committed to University of Oregon. My name is Devin Coppinger, class of 2024, and I'm undecided. Yeah, my uh, love for the game started with my family. Growing up in a uh, like Cooper family, all my family's hooped. Uh, watching them always hooping against like these old guys really inspired me, and uh, yeah, came from my family for sure. I'd probably say that too. My older brother played, and then my dad played, and he also just coached me like all my life to like mow and tree of hope. So it started out just kind of for fun, but then you know it just kind of grew. grew. I think for me, it was definitely my eighth grade summer. Oh no, not eighth grade, eighth grade a year where I really like started to grow and uh... Oh no, it was seventh grade. Who, wait, who was yours? Wasn't it? Boise State, right? What? Yeah, yeah man. Boise. No, I'm not gonna... Oh my God. Uh, yeah, oh wait, no, seventh grade then. Seventh grade going into my eighth grade summer, uh, getting the first offer. It was really cool. You don't see a lot of like middle school kids getting yeah. offers. So getting that um, really just made me go harder and work harder to get more. And as I continue to grow my game, more offers started to come. So the first offer in Boise State? Yeah. Okay. And how about you? Yeah, I mean, I always loved the game, but I think when I first first started playing Tree of Hope, like going into my seventh grade year, that season I also picked up my first offer from WSU. And like she said, like once you get that first offer, it just kind of like good. the grind, like yeah. you starts building. And you're like, okay, like I could do this. It's super motivating getting that like recognition. Exactly, yeah. It is, it's rewarding, yeah. I would definitely say Washington Hoopers are really slept on. We have a lot of great, great Hoopers. We have a lot of great legends coming out of Seattle. Brandon Roy, Joyce Walker, all these great Hoopers. And you don't hear about it, and we don't get a lot of uh, that publicity. So in the work shown, like me me and Deb, I feel like we, we've been putting up for Washington, and it's time for people to wake up and that people, we got Hoopers in Washington. Yeah, <laughs> it's cool playing for like your state and all. And like she said, kind of like underrated for like where basketball players come from, but there are good Hoopers. So it's, it's cool to be able to like just kind of publicize that a little more. You guys are both um, state champions. Uh, you guys won MVPs in your respective divisions, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. Are you guys um, basically competing for like who rules Washington? Like, which one do you guys rules Washington? I don't know. Yeah, no. Well, that's kind of. <laughs> Me and Dad, me and Dad be going at it at practice. For Every real. single practice is me and her. Some days it's her, some days it's me. Yeah, because we got like punishments at practice. It's like running eighth and sixteen. So when we're against each other, we're like, I'm like, I got Katie. Straight like, dog, straight. Because I know Devin, I know Devin will get to it. If I'm not on her, she'll she'll cook everything. You gotta get there. bucks. Yeah, right. and I'm like, I'm not letting that happen. And she's what? thinking the same thing. So then we'll be playing like in our game for like ten minutes, and Mo's like, Come on, like. I know it's usually just me and her going back and forth. Like nobody else can her, I'm gonna go. Yeah, like it's what uh <laughs> But on it we gotta run the ones one of these times, y'all. Hey, get it? Hey, um, on, we got on it. camera? Uh, on the camera? Uh, <laughs> on the camera? Hey, Maybe on fresh legs, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Or is it always just like competitive on the court? But me and Devin have always been cool. Like, we, you know yeah. how some girls are like kind of like beef kind of stuff. beefing with me? But me and Devin have yeah. always been cool. Like, we compete on the court. Like, I mean, I, mean, I respect her as court. Yeah. Her, but, like, obviously in practice stuff, but we never had like, like that. Like, practice moment. when we step on the court, like, oh yeah, Devin's like, you're not my friend. But no, like, exactly. we win. I want to win. So, yeah. On or off, you said? On the court. Ooh. I love, Katie's got like this positive energy. Like if I'm like having like a tough game, she's always there to like pick me up and she's a good like core general. But yeah, she got that like, and I'm like, okay, like I'm good, I'm good. So she got that about her. Yeah. Thanks, Dad. You think about Devin on the court I love about her is that she'll compete no matter what. She might be like, she might get hit in the head with a knot on her head. She's like, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. And I just love her game. It's so smooth. Like you don't see a lot of like, just, uh, into a pull up, and I'm like, yo, I need to get that in my game. I'm saying, I'm saying it's, it's very efficient, and I just love her game. And her energy since she brings to the table is it's amazing.
Um, for me, I felt like it always like came natural to me. And then, like as I got older, uh, I started like, just, like reading, like reading the floor more, especially as a point guard. And I always say this: like playing chess really helped me read the floor. Like I didn't as, know that. Yeah, I swear, I, gotta I start swear. Playing chess. playing chess like reading the moves ahead of the game. And like if I make okay. one move like this, it's gonna affect. And if I make a pass right here. She's gonna move right here, and That's it, cool. it helps me. I swear. Chess. Put you on, right? Put you on. I need to do some chess. But I feel like it's always become like natural, though. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I like I said, she played for Mo way longer than I have. I played for my dad for a while, so like I had good IQ, but I definitely think going to Shreve Hope definitely helped that because I walked in and I was like, oh, like that's not a good pass. So I, I gotta learn that's not a good pass. They kind of developed, and also we started playing like. 17 you yeah. like when we were like eighth grade or something so that kind of gave us like an advantage young seeing like a different level mm -hmm. and so we've been able to play at that level for a while which has been kind of cool but also helped us in yeah our game. okay for Devin I would definitely say she's genuine and very loving like she's such a loving person like her energy like is so good like I just love to be around her because her energy is so like bright Okay, I got a couple. I got a story with one. She's energetic. I was like goofy. And then I also got to go loving. I know she said that, but like, literally yesterday, we're walking the streets and some like homeless guy was sitting there and she's like, anybody got like money or something? She's like reaching her pockets and she went and gave them some. And she's always doing that. Like, we'll be in the van on the way to games and like someone on the side of the street and she'll be giving her money. I'm like, like, that's just a good person. Thank you, Devin. Yeah. She's been like a great addition to our team because we didn't have her last year, obviously. And like you said, she can hit a shot. Like if I see Brooklyn open and I'm I'm open, I'm like, Brooklyn, shoot that ball. Like she puts in the work and it shows. And yeah. She's she's also like a really composed, like good person off the court, and that just kind of adds to what's so great about her. Yeah. She's an amazing basketball player. I give her her props. She works so hard. And uh, she's very efficient, and I really love that about her. She works, like Devin says, her game shows, and I'm excited to see her for next year. I'm like, I might come back. We gotta, we could come sit the bench. We gotta, hey, my <laughs> we got a coach, assistant. We have a clipboard. We assistant, yeah. Dog. Cat. I'm a cat person. Oh, I, I, I have yeah. a cat. I have a cat. I can't I, switch up on my cat like that. My dog died. Rest in peace. But oh, damn. Dog was <laughs> I'm not laughing at that. I'm sorry. No. I'm, sorry. I'm not laughing. No. no. Orange juice or apple juice? Apple juice. Orange. Ew. Kevin, what yeah. are you doing, bro? Apple Get juice. I like, like hot apple cider, but apple juice kind of booty. I don't know. Orange juice. Do you don't tell me like the pulp. I mean, I don't choose the pole, but if it's there, I'll drink it. Ew, I'm a girl. farm girl. I, can't, no, I, I like juice my orange. She's a farm orange. girl. My fault, yeah. I'm gonna go just McDonald's. They're salty, just real good. McDonald's? I'm say In N Out. I was gonna say, y'all got In N Out out here? I don't. We don't have In N Out, but every time I'm out in the country, like, oh, In N Out. And one. And one. It's hype. When I get lit. Up, I get lit. I get lit. So, I get more like, like helping you up. I'm she like, gets, come on. She's once she gets the and one, she's like, I know. I'm like, I know. She's like this the whole game. I'm like, but then like someone <laughs> else does it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> uh, I got a couple. Yeah, Girls who play with their hair down. I don't like people like with like the high socks. Uh, no offense to knee pad people, but like, come on, bro. Like, I know it's just like. Knees are not tough. My dad always be on me about knee pads, though. So. He's like, your knees are gonna like get hurt. Yeah. But like, even though like, look, bro, like, what about sleep? And if you sleep, oh, like, come on, oh bro. Oh my like, gosh, some girls like, <laughs> go take a shower. <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the, we sound mean. We, Wait, love we sound all. mean. We love we, all. We love everybody. It's just That's yogurt. True. It's just simple, like, yeah. yeah. No, sometimes I be at halftime. I'm like, let me yeah. like, reapply real quick. <laughs> I'd probably say shot. That's kind of. I'd say shot too. Yeah. Hit you with a nice little step back or something in for game. Yeah. For yeah. Oh, the sham guy. That's your move. The you got that. Tell me about the sham guy. I just we done this play uh, one five and I usually ask Mo. I'm like Mo, you you want to see something nice or something? Because <laughs> he's the one that really taught me how to do a sham guy. So 
And I just read the defender. If she's like kind of laid back, I'm gonna throw it out. And if she goes for it, gotta snatch it quick. I'd be standing in the corner, arms crossed, like, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yeah let, me, let me get one, let me get one. She's got it. <laughs> I would say seeing my teammates like do so good. Like I remember Devin Honestly. was cooking today, and I was being, I was like, I was happy you for you. I know. There's I that love, energy. Like, I'm like, I love the like right when I make a good pass. Like I love like making a great pass, okay. and then finishing it. Like it makes me like feel so good. I'm yeah, just, like, I'd have to agree with that. Yeah, teammates and good passes. I'll say. So Katie, she's like the floor general. She's telling everyone where to go, true point guard, but also like, don't get me wrong, she doesn't just set stuff up. Like you said, she's gonna hit you with like a moving cookie and she's gonna like, get to the hoop, Damn, drop bro. it down to one of our bigs. She's gonna set back hit a three. She like does it all, but like, yeah, floor general for sure. Thank you. If I had to describe Devin's game, I would say that you are very efficient. I would say you're very efficient. And she gets to her spots no matter what. She gets like a pull up, can be right in her face. I swear, I get hit with it too in practice. And I'd be like, you're very efficient. I'm very like, it's very like smooth too. And it's tough, she be hitting them crazy layups. I'm like, <laughs> I gotta hype up my crowd. I'm, I'm gonna be lit for my crowd. I'm like, y'all, y'all gotta get me teed yeah, up. Yeah, I have to go with that. I don't worry too much about the others, but I mean, it sure feels good to quiet them down, but. Yeah. Wow, you're the first two to answer the question. Really? That's a fun We be lit. Come on, I want to be lit. <laughs> hey, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I've been compared to Haley Van Lith a couple of times. Obviously, she's amazing, but just like her aggressive factor, we're both like from small town and just kind of how we play is a little similar. I swear, yeah, I see that. I would say Paige. For sure. I feel like I've been compared to Paige a lot. Just yeah. like the the swag, you know? The swag, yeah, for sure. the swag. <laughs> I would definitely say my coach Mo. Mo 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 has taught me so much. No, you got he's Mo, gonna love this. Mo has like taught me like literally almost everything about the game of basketball. I'm trying to get more for me. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for me. Stop yelling at me. But <laughs> I would definitely say Mo though. I, I definitely model my game after Mo. Just like he literally instilled that hezzy in me. Like, like I would say Mo. Who would you say? I don't know. I mean, I kind of watch like NBA, WNBA, and I watch like a lot of people, and I kind of take a bits and pieces from everyone's game. I'd say I wouldn't say necessarily one person I'm like trying to be like, but. Say you like Devin Cup. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta go with my sister, Megan Fiso. Go, she's at San Diego State right now. So I gotta go shout out my sister right there. I probably have to stay Haley Van Litt, just everything about her. And like I said, still, I feel like that little connection, like my school a couple times, cause she's like 1A from way up kind of where I live. Played each other a couple of times. So it was cool, like small town girl, see her go out and do good. One thing I love about Mo is if he want to say like, he'll keep it so real with you. And I love that about him, you know, he doesn't take anything personal and I don't take anything personal because that's the relationship that we built over the years. Like I said, I've known Mo since the fourth grade and he's always been around my family ever since I was a kid. And uh, just growing up with him, I feel like he's, like the relationship I built off the court with him is something I really value. Yeah, I think I stopped in cheering Pope like seventh grade, going to seventh grade or something like that. And the thing like I noticed right off the bat, just like the guy's will to win. Like he wants to win and he like makes everyone around him want to win. And yeah. like she said, he's straight up with you and that's just a good thing to have around you. Very good. I don't really pay attention to the rankings at all. Um, I don't want a number to define who I am as a basketball player because I know who I am and I'm a firm believer in like Jesus and I know what Jesus thinks about me so I really don't pay attention to the rankings at all. I just don't because on the court you already know like I'm coming for business. I don't care who you are or what number you have exactly. next to your name. Like if you want to hoop, I'm going to hoop with you. Like, That's enough sad. 100%. <laughs> that, was so well said. that was good. Oh, I'm not dead. No, no, no. Good. 
leadership, I think it's super important. I think it's cool because Katie and I are both like leaders in different ways, I'd say. We both like lead by example. She's just a little more vocal than I am, which is good to have because I lead, like I said, more by example and like what I do on the court. And I'll speak some like when I need to and stuff and I'll get hyped for girls, but Katie's definitely more like that floor general. She'll speak for everyone and like just a good vocal leader too. Super important to have kind of the coaches on the court, I'd say. Like you got the coaches off court, but like they can only go so far. So you need those people to like carry out. Yeah, I think that's why we reflect off each other so well. Like, if Devin's not like doing something, I'll be the person to like, hey, lock in. And, but yeah. if I, we hold each other accountable, and I, I really love that. Yeah. yeah. I would definitely say that they're getting a leader. Um, I've really valued myself as a leader, uh, stepping into a leader role, and uh, just doing whatever it takes to win. I want to make my teammates better. Uh, and I, I don't like, I'm just gonna come in and wanna be a dog and I'll help my team in any way I can, whether that's, you know, cheering, scoring, whether, yeah. Yeah, I'd say I'm gonna be a team player. I'm gonna give it everything I have offensively and defensively. I, like, I pride myself on my defense. And that's something I love I about the game. So I'm gonna work like <laughs> both ends of the court and just like give it my own. I swear, bro. Her deep, two way, yeah. I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you good, you good. You got the sham guy. It'll take you far. No. <laughs>
I knew it was. I knew we were getting old when I remember we stepped up to Mo. We stood up to Mo, and we we're like, Mo, we can't, we can't, we can't play this. That this time we did games. that once. We we did the score clock because we had a choice. <laughs> we did the score. That's what, we had a choice. It was yeah. like so we were playing with our high school or like the 17U or something, and then our eighth grade team was playing. But it was like. We, had, we were already losing, and he said, hey, do you want to play this game or take a break? Because the other team was playing the championship. We're like, we were like I think we're going to rest in. Go for the championship. So we didn't like scoreboard. And we did the scoreboard, and, they were, and it was bad because they were losing, and we were, and were looking, looking at, at us. us. He looked at us. He turned his head. He said, <laughs> and someone was bringing our food, and we're like, no, no. Yeah. We were like, we had candy coming in. Mm. But, yeah. Okay. Miss Katie, what is your... Favorite celebration after, you know, like M1, you know, something like that? Hmm, to be honest, I feel like I have a variety of celebrations, but one I would do, let me try to like, I think I just stare him down a little bit. Ooh. I think I stare him down, just like a little, stare. little feel it. You're gonna feel it. Like. Thank you so much, seriously. No, oh, thank you. Thank this you. was that fun. Was awesome. This was really good. I'm so, I'm so. Uh, I'm excited for this episode. Me too, we were talking about this. This is gonna be hype. <laughs> yeah. Shout out Hoopers for days. You already know what it is. And yeah. shout out to Tommy James. Tommy. Oh my yes. God, Tommy. Tommy. I got shout out Mo too, but Tommy. Love you. Uh -huh.